Yes, guys, special edition of Born Offside. We are back second time in a week. Alan Tekkers is next to me in his skin tight Chelsea kid. I can't hey, talk. Mine's I'm fucking ripping off me as well. Um, you know, Piling on the pounds lately, so it is what it is. You been in the gym or is that just, no, this, that's just comfort weight? No, no, no. I've been in the gym, but it's it's hard when you can't do cardio because of my legs. So. Ah, you, yeah. got, you got something to blame though. Yeah, yeah. As long as you got something to blame. Yeah. One man who knows a thing or two about cardio. Lockie Rose. Arguably, would you say you're one of the fittest players in the A-League? You'd have to be. I'm not sure. I'd like to say it. You'd have to be. I'm not I, too sure. I reckon we, we, we <laughs> yeah, can 100%. say that. We can say that. But A-League's forward for MacArthur, currently recovering from your own little issue, but we're sure and can't wait to see you back out there playing in the A-League, mate. Plenty that we want to cover before we actually get into the football chat, because there's plenty of it. We had heaps of questions, people that want to hear from you. I heard you got another little side hustle, a little side hobby. Bit of DJ yeah, Rosie well, as well. What you do? It? Yeah, tell us about this, mate. How does that come about? <laughs> ah, well, um, going back to it, it was... Uh, Obviously, when COVID was kicking off in yeah. the second season, um, I got COVID on New Year's Eve. Oh, when I was at, when I was I at, like everyone got it on that. Yeah. Honestly, that I was at, I was at Woolies buying like a few like barbecue stuff for the mm. boys to come over, and obviously got COVID. Oh, so God. then I had to, I went home as isolated, and that night I decided to buy a DJ deck as a bit of a joke. Fair enough. With, um, Maps was revving me up about it, so <laughs> I got that and. Um, yeah, I thought I'd teach myself as a joke and continue and it's doing it now. Yeah. Yeah. Do it as a is it, is it hard thing. to teach yourself DJing? No, not really. I just, I really love music anyway. So I think yeah. it was like an easy flow. And yeah. Obviously, I enjoy like watching DJ sets and stuff. Yeah. But um, yeah, James Meredith and Maps was, have been pushing for it. They want me to, they yeah. want to be my... My agents, but Fuck yeah, yeah, be good. That's you look like a DJ. Not, not, not sure you, you, you surf, <laughs> you surf <laughs> as well. Yeah, I do. there you go. Yeah, right, yeah, it yeah, looks like 100%. a DJ and a surf. Yeah, well, what's your DJ name? I don't know yet. You don't have one yet. No, I've had El some. El Rose. Gonna, I think I'm going to keep the La Rose one. I thought yeah, that La Rose. Right. That's pretty sick. I don't not, not not sure yet. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I guess. <laughs> so we actually we actually had a question on Twitter from Vappy on Twitter. Said, "Do you prefer being called La Ice or the Ice Man?" I don't know where he's pulled that from. La but Ice. La, La Ice. L.A. Ice. But they La, call you that? But La Rose. I don't think I've ever did, been called that. <laughs> where, did, where did La Rose come from? L.A. Rose. Well, it's actually funny because um, obviously the first season you had Liam Rose in the team. And right. um, so obviously an older player gets priority yeah. and he's like a year older than me. So he got Rose on the back. And I couldn't have L. Dot Rose because he's Liam Rose. So oh, there we go. They went the next letter. So that's I think La Rose. La Rose. It's just stuck now. I feel like I'm like a French import player. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. On La a marquee Rose. deal. <laughs> it's iconic. It's something you don't that's see every cool, day. Man. We yeah. love that. But how, how is how is the injury tracking on? Nah, it's going well. Obviously, it was tough uh, when it first happened. Um, but like, I'm in good hands. The medical staff at the club are really, really good. Yeah. Um, they're really thorough with everything and my rehab's going strong. Yeah. As I was saying before it all, and I was doing... Um, I've been doing a lot of swimming and stuff. Yeah, sick. No kicking. No. Um, might get him to come down. I was saying, I might have to join you on them swims, yeah. man. Yeah, <laughs> I might have to. Hey, I can swim, bro. Can I was you? swimming. <laughs> bro, I was, I was, obviously, my friends are here from England. I was swimming up in the Bondi Ocean. They couldn't believe it. Yeah, I was in the waves. Waves weren't taking me nowhere, bro. <laughs> Feet can touch the ground and <laughs> swimming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a big swimmer. But I might have to join you. Let me know. Yeah, where, you might have you to. Swim at. 6 a.m. starts. Yeah, because I need a, uh, for the fitness. So, yeah, yeah I might it's, do it's that. good. It's good. In, six, down in Bondi, six normally. You tell them you're going to be there at 6 a.m. Got nothing else to do. <laughs> 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 my, my days don't start till about 12. So, <laughs> maybe. Hey, maybe. Your, your, your boys are in town at the moment yeah, from yeah. the UK. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That'd be a great quote from Olam. Hey, I, I saw recording. them the other day actually walking down. Oh, one yeah. Day. We were walking down. Uh, walking around like this. Yeah. Like, he's, like Conor McGregor walking down the <laughs> street. I'm like, this guy. <laughs> I'm, take, I'm, I'm showing them around Australia, man. Here I am in the sushi at Saki Street. I'm trying to get him to move over. So I'm like, proper, proper giving it. I'm like, bro, look at this. You know, you've got, we've got Bondi here, you can see the beach. We've got Coogee as well. We've got, I'm trying to give him the full <laughs> round down. You're basically working for Tourism yeah, Australia. Yeah, yeah, I actually am. I actually That's am. brilliant. <laughs> yeah, loving it, but yeah. Olan said to me before the pod, for anyone, any Sydney siders that are listening, Olan said, you, you took the boys to the Coogee Pavilion. You mm. called it the Champions League of Australia. <laughs> it is. Of the Australian like, like, drinking lads, scene and, and nightlife. Lads, I know my missus is going to listen to this, so you know, like, disclaimer. <laughs> I was like, lads, you've just got to go there, you know, because they're like, what do you mean? I was like, you've just... Got to go there. It is the Champions it is League. It's the top, top it's shelf. It's the top tier. And when you get in there, you'll know exactly what I mean. <laughs> they walked in without, within five minutes. They're like, this is Champions League. They've arrived. Nah, I know what you mean. They could hear the song. <laughs> <laughs> they could hear I the know, I know what you mean. They're like, nah, this is nothing like I've ever seen. They were loving it. We were there from like, we got there at like three or four. We didn't leave till like nine, ten-ish. They were loving it. Man. Jeez, you guys got there early. Yeah, yeah, we got there. It got me that queue, man. 
Yeah, you know. I can't always just pull out the, the TikTok and say, you know. <laughs> sometimes I just do, I just live yeah, normal, you know. Yeah, what I mean? so, that, it's one of them ones. One of them ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is uh, how's how's the quality out in uh, Macarthur? I haven't really, I don't really go out in Macarthur. Is there, is there somewhere to go out in Macarthur? <laughs> no, nah, like I haven't, like I haven't really gone out. I think obviously because I live further down this way, I've never yeah. really yeah. experienced yeah. it. But yeah. Just get in, try and get well, out. I think, I think, I think the <laughs> no, nah, I think the pubs around Macarthur would be sick. It would be decent. I reckon the chat. And like the I'm pool players would be unbelievable. Yeah, like, uh, just like do some interviews down there. That'd just be, venture out there, see what it's like. I saw you met some creatures in Perth. Ooh, <laughs> Perth was <laughs> different. I don't even know how to describe it in words, but it was different for sure. No, yeah. the Macarthur people—they're good people. They like they support us as well, and like obviously them as a group. Like obviously we're we're very grateful for them. But yeah, yeah, proper yeah they're all legends. They're all real down to earth people. Yeah, that's, that's what, yeah, I like that's about what you want. Yeah, yeah, most. proper community. There's, you don't realize how many people live in that Macarthur region as well. That's mm-hmm. what people are questioning. Oh, why are you putting a Macarthur team when there's Western Sydney? There's a lot of people mm. in that Macarthur region. The Cowbells. Do you like them when you're playing? Ding, I don't ding, hear ding. them. You don't hear them. You're that, no. You just lays it in. No, like I just yeah, I don't hear them anymore. Like I think first game I was like obviously when I first started I was a bit nervous, but. Yeah. I could hear him, but yeah. after that, I don't notice him anymore. That's good. It's just for the away team. Just distracts yeah, the away yeah, team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like people on TV are here. Like I see a lot of comments. People complaining about the noise on TV. <laughs> I like it. I think it makes a difference. You good. You need that. You, you know. You don't even have to look at TV. You know where they're playing. Yeah. You know, and that's <laughs> iconic. That's iconic. Um, but that's why we love all these new teams potentially coming in and bringing different things to the league. There's always chat about the national second division. We that's said on the speaking pod about before, yeah. two weeks ago. It was before you went to Perth. Mm. We said that we would jump on the bandwagon of one team that wants to get in the national but second. Division, right. I, I was looking at our comment section, Shabzi, on that post. It was more Hum City. Was it Hum, hum? City? Humes. We can start the by comments. Getting, Hum City. <laughs> was yeah. that, I was don't it, think I've ever heard anyone wait, call it. What are called? Hume or Hum? We'll start by getting the name right. Like, Hume or Hum, bruv. <laughs> Hume, bruv. Like, <laughs> like, you know what I mean, bro. Hum I'm City. Bad with hum, uh, Hume, Hume City. Hume City in Melbourne, yeah? Hume City in Melbourne. Oh, you're close. You're close. Yeah, yeah right. there was yeah. a lot for coming from Hume City. Uh, Gold Coast Knights were keen. Ooh. RPR, could, we had We a could few. take a trip down to Goldie every couple of weeks. Hey. You're mad. There's worst places Will your missus go. let you do that, though? That's that's if she knows problem. what's good for you, she won't. Mm. Yeah, there'll be a few chats there. It's, bus- it's business. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, work. it's work. It's work. Hey, it's a work trip. We're at Burley Pad, but it's business. Exactly. Wollongong Wolves were keen. South Melbourne. So they're the top. They're the front runners. I reckon we've got to choose a team outside. Sydney. You wouldn't, it'd be nice. And I at least reckon, then we could just go work expenses. Yeah, just exactly. Out. I reckon we've got to do this because we, we, we're, in, we're in Sydney. We, we know what this the MPL is like. And we know? all have different allegiances. Yeah. That's the thing to different clubs yeah, here. Yeah, exactly. I, don't, I didn't want to bring it up. But you had a big allegiance to uh, North Shore Mariners. Yeah, I did, which, which actually lo- your club bought, but it's fine. <laughs> which <laughs> you're, actually club the, you're actually the reason why I'm out of business right now, <laughs> man. It's fine. Absolutely fine. Which Lockie's club just disintegrated <laughs> yeah, and te- just completely. Te- technically, yeah. You know, like for those of you who don't know, nothing to do with Lockie. We love the Bulls. I'm a big fan of the Bulls, to be fair. But uh, mm. the, what happened, we had the Bulls Academy, they they basically just took over Olan's old club, yep. North Shore Mariners. Mm-hmm. And uh, the, your, your first graders were just told, move on. They were, bit, they were pretty much told anyone <laughs> under the age of 21, which obviously includes me and the majority of players who are trying to earn over a Over the age of 21. Over the age of 21. Over the age of 21. Have to kind of have to go, and if you're under 21, you, you have to retrial. Yeah, so your place is still up for grabs <laughs> anyway. So it's a, it's a tough world. Football's a tough world. I mean, I, I get it because they wanted to. They feed didn't want to start an MPL four. They want to start an MPL four, and they wanted to feed a club for the players that obviously aren't getting playing time mm. in first grade to play at a high level. Yeah, it makes in sense. One, it yeah, makes yeah, sense. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Um, it just sucks for. The only, the only people that were affected were the first grade because obviously the academy they would have been fine. cheering they would have just been feeding up yeah, into the younger kids yeah. so it, it made sense for that. everyone but the first grade but the first graders that got them there yeah, yeah that got them there <laughs> in the first place so, I no, think I think that's the like. hardest thing about football is like things change so quickly so, yeah, you know what I mean yeah. and that's just yeah. the way it is like obviously like even growing up playing like you'd move on clubs all the time and yeah. like obviously things like that suck but you got to like just deal with it and I guess you got to look at the positives mm. oh, exactly. behind it as well like yeah, obviously yeah, yeah. trying to to boost younger players it's coming through yeah, to produce yeah. more yeah. like top level players as well like yeah. and give them that um, that culture and that environment to train in as well but obviously yeah. on your behalf it doesn't help but yeah. Yeah. a couple of players right. got the shit in there. visa player as well yeah, yeah. yeah. tough for you to find a gig after that that's it you get Done. The done. knee injury and that—that's yeah, the only reason you're why done. you're not in yeah, the Yeah, yeah, you're done. Um, let, let's talk. We, we do love supporting the MPL here, and uh, the MPL has been expanded in New South Wales anyway. Some other states were already doing this, but 16 teams now in the MPL, so they play 30 rounds. So mm-hmm. it's slightly closer longer, to playing longer in a, season. Longer season, slightly closer to a professional environment. Proper product of the MPL. 
we'd consider you lucky. You've played around for a few clubs. You've gone into the A-League. Something fell back there. Producer Shabs, mate. Check that out. Something <laughs> fell Some back juju there. juju in here. Fix What's going on? <laughs> Fix that shit. Uh, someone's spying on us. Uh, lucky, you, you played... Am I correct in saying you, your previous club before MacArthur was Blacktown Spartans? Yeah. Which is an MPL 2 side. Yeah, I had a lot of MPL clubs to be fair growing up and... Yeah, Blacktown Spartans. Was but that, that's an amazing that. story. I think for anyone that's listening to the pod, we have a lot of young MPL players Australia wide listening to the pod. You've you're a proof that you can go not even MPL one, you can go from MPL two to starting that's in the A League. Such a big job. How does that happen? Yeah. Oh, I think for me personally, like I think I was never your ten out of ten player growing up. Like I had so many clubs growing up. I started off at Marconi in under thirteens, and yeah. I went to Manly for two years, right. and then I went to Central Coast, and then yeah. I went to Spirit after that, and right. then I went to Blacktown City, and then I went to Spartan. Like, so I had a right. lot of clubs. So proper journey. Nicholas like, and Elko of the NPL. I sound yeah. like an yeah. absolute club hopper. And yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. But it wasn't Wherever like, the coin's going, you know, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> right. I might hop over here. <laughs> <laughs> the thing was, is it wasn't even my choice for that. I just, I didn't get kept at the clubs I was at. Yeah. So, like, uh, so Marconi, you, were you mainly getting, like, at the end of the season, they weren't saying, like, we want to keep you next season. You were just going, oh, I've got to look for a new club. Yeah, like no, they didn't. I didn't get retained or anything. Right. I right. didn't have a retainment letter till I think I was like in under eighteen at Spirit. Right. right. So like from all them other like years. Oh, around. actually, sorry, the one year at Manly I did after that season, but I wasn't playing game time at all. Right. Mm. right. Um. So like it was hard, and for me it was a tough journey. Like when I was like fourteen, fifteen, um, I started playing AFL just on the side. Right. As a bit of a joke, because my mate asked me to come play, and so yeah. I never trained through the week. Yeah. We'd play football on a Saturday. And then, because I wasn't getting any game times for right. 10 minutes, the next day I'd go play AFL. So this is the key to the wow. fitness, AFL. That's the key to the fitness. <laughs> um, That's why you run but more I than the But I only played one year doing it. I actually like, really enjoyed it. But mm. yeah, and then obviously moved on. And so then you played both AFL and obviously football. So you reckon AFL is more running? Surely. AFL is a lot of Surely. running. I played more running a, than uh, like playing like striker and pressing the centre back for 90 minutes? Man, yeah. I'm telling you, I played on the wing. I was just run up and down that. And it was just like, I was cooked after it. Bro, have wow. you seen the size of the pitch? I yeah, I've seen it. It's like, nah, it's true, it's true. It's them, true their pre-seasons are a joke. What, AFL? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the wow. amount of running they do in their pre-seasons is ridiculous. That's interesting. Though. But That's it's true. different running. Like, obviously, theirs is like... Obviously, not as many high intense, like high um, sprints. It's just sprint constant, meters, yeah. non-stop running, right? Like theirs is just that constant. Yeah, so with it. us, obviously, like there's times where we get a patch where we better like have a break, but then yeah. we'll sprint again. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah. So you yeah. got more high intensity meters going on. So yeah. like, it's, it's all like adds up after. But obviously, yeah, yeah their pre seasons that I've heard are like tough. And then so you you gone from being a, a football AFL player extraordinaire to getting to Blackdown Spartans. You're playing in MPL two. How do you go from MPL two to the A League? What happened there? Someone well, my, just came to watch you play. Or? Well, my first season at Spartans, I was um, I just dropped back to MPL two because like you know I'm not gonna get off like a go in first grade. I was still able to play on the twenties in MPL one. Right. But I was like, no, nah, I want to play against like men. I want to experience like the physicality. Like yeah. you gotta experience that stuff. If yeah. I'm gonna get better, I want to yeah. be playing again. I'm not gonna play against my own age group anymore. That's so right. I dropped back, and it was a tough league. Like you get battered mm. like at times. Mm. Um, and then after my first season, um, I just packed my bag, said stuff. I'm gonna go to England. That's when I knocked on random clubs' doors. Okay. Jeez. Well, so what, what clubs did you try with in England? <laughs> so I was training with uh, Salford City. Oh, yes. Oh, right. um, did you meet any of the class of 92? <laughs> yeah, i got a funny story about that. Oh, <laughs> really? Oh, hit us, hit us. So um, when I was there, I went to one of the games. So I'm, I ended up training in the morning with like a few of their first team players that weren't playing because I was training with them like 23s. And then I went to the game with one of them and um, Skolzy was there. No. Nah. And... Oh, I didn't know who he was at first. And that's so bad. What? Oh, I know, I know. Are you, are you one of those... We'll talk about this with Paddy Asbeck on the show yeah. last week. Are you one of those footballers that doesn't really watch I a lot of football? I just don't watch football. Yeah. I, I, I'm obsessed with playing. I'm obsessed with the sport. Like, I love it. And yeah. I love but playing it. you just don't it. watch it. I just don't watch it. So yeah. like... Uh, ben White. I, I've, like, I've just <laughs> like walked straight past him. And um, the boys, as they came up later, were like, bro, like, are you serious? Like, you just walked past. It's I was close. like, what? <laughs> and I was like, oh, so I went back up and shook his hand. <laughs> his comment was, you're Rosie. Hey, I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't was, know who I was. Uh, you're definitely Rosie. Yeah. Well, you're definitely yeah, foreign. It was pretty bad, but I guess that's part of it. And then I came back and came back to Spartans again. Mm. I was working as a, a carpenter, did a bit of pool cleaning as well. Yeah, nice. And I was, to be fair, I was working my ass off. Like, I'd wake up at like, early hours, train, then go to work, yeah. and then come back and then go train. train yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, yeah, I got lucky one day. Someone was watching, and I got brought into the Bulls, and I was just on trial with all the other trialists. Really, I was meant to be going in for NYL, yeah. um, and then I just kept 
picking away at it and people i just it was weird because like you just go to training and like every like week a player was gone yeah you know what I mean? trials was gone but so you're still like, here it's like all right yeah it's you're like, like squid i was game. like i was like yeah dead set it yeah. actually felt like squid game and he's like just dropping dropping off and then smaller and smaller and smaller group. Yeah, yeah and got to newcastle for a trial game and that morning they're like look we're gonna offer you one year deal and prove yourself and i was so grateful like i'm still grateful to, like today by the club mm. amazing they've yeah. done so like oh they've done wonders for me like what did you tell the pool cleaning company I was lucky as my dad's mate, so it didn't really matter. He was, just, <laughs> <laughs> he was stoked anyway for that's me. That's so. sick. That's but, yeah. sick, man. That's awesome. And the rest is history, and we love seeing it. Uh, quick A-League wrap-up, because the A-League's been heating up, man. This is one of the tightest A-League seasons in the world, besides Melbourne City, yeah. which, which kind of ran away with it. They were pegged back one, though. It was a big statement from Melbourne. Big I saw Street. them uh, Melbourne City boys in Perth, by the way. So, <laughs> so you know why they lost the Melbourne derby? Well, I saw the, the mall. It was, there, it was, it was there a couple Maybe there was a hangover from it, but they were all, that was River Mall. Yeah? I heard. Glover gave me a call. was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was I good. heard that the Melbourne City boys party. They big time. I'm not, I'm not Allegedly, disclosing. I'm not, not going to say who told me, but it was actually, any, a, it was another player that any, said that, that they go pretty, they go pretty hard. Listen, I, 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 I don't think there's anything wrong with going out after a win. After a game. So no, they, no, no, no. they won, I think in Perth, they beat Perth Glory 1-0 or something that like that. That was a massive game, 4-2. Four, 4-2, four, oh, four, sorry. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, he said, we, we won. We're out. So I said, fair enough, man. Sweet. Come link me. You, yeah. see, you know where I'm at. So, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. All, it was weird seeing them all. Yeah, yeah, it was good. yeah, yeah. But yeah, they had they had a good time. Sounds like it's a good culture. I've spoken to, I'm not going to name clubs, but I've spoken to a few players from some clubs in the A-League which seem like they've got a real boring culture at the moment. Mm. And then sometimes you look at results, so, mm, that kind of works. How's the, the boys The boys hang out? The boys have a good time at, at the Bulls? Uh, the boys in our team, like our culture, we're really tight. Like yeah. we're like one big family, I was going to say. So Sweet like for us, like, everyone sticks by each other and it's really good so yeah. like it, as i said it shows in the field sometimes and like when things do go wrong yeah. we all stick together so yeah. it's not like obviously here sometimes when like teams fall apart yeah that's right stuff we're lucky that us boys all stick together away from it yeah and we're going to talk a little bit about the a-league on the weekend Mel- melbourne derby always does live up to the hype you mentioned you don't watch a whole lot of football do is it common for a-league play like do you guys watch other a-league teams during the week or you just leave that to the gaffers to watch everyone else no, like, we obviously do video analysis and things like right. that on our next opposition. Obviously, I haven't really been in the video analysis lately because of being yeah. injured, so it's been, you go to the gym, go do your rehab. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You fuck off and <laughs> see you when you're ready to play. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, so, like, obviously, we do a lot of video analysis on the other oppositions and, and things like that, and it's... And it's, yeah, like, you don't really have to watch the games because you already know what... Yeah. When, the co- when the gas coming in with, like, what... Um, they do the work for you. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah, just so so much easier. How how have you, how did you find? Um, did you ever get like the imposter syndrome of like being from the MPL to going straight into first grade into the A League? Did you ever feel like, oh, should I be here or am I going to perform? Did you ever get that feeling, or were you just like, um, I've, I've made it this far, <laughs> like this is me? I I think yeah, you get like that at times, yeah. but personally, I didn't really get I was I'm quite like fearless with that kind of stuff mm. I'm the type of person that just goes in and goes you know what stuff it like yeah. like if I believe I can do something then I can do it and that's half the reason why I got to where I like I am where I am and I, obviously I want to go further yeah but it's because I got that attitude where I'm like stuff what people say or yeah. I can do it myself but I was lucky like the boys are in our first year like Millsy and Fedders and stuff yeah. like that you had some big names you yeah. know what I mean and like these guys would take you on the, under their wing and, and guide you and, ex- mm-hmm. and teach you things. Obviously, that that'd be harsh on you, but it was all for good reasons. You yeah. know what I mean? Love that. Yeah, well, um, I did want to speak to you about that because as a footballer, we, we've experienced different levels and even in the MPL, different levels. And we've always said to each other, sometimes when you drop lower down and you play lower down, it can be more difficult. Harder, because, yeah. Yeah, you're playing on and like uh, synthetic pitches, the ball's in the air a lot of the game, even in England. Yeah, right? even I, I think there's a um, there's an interview where Andrew Townsend said like playing League 2 and League 1 was way harder than playing in the Premier League. In the League. Prem, right? Like, it's weird, it's a weird concept, but if you're a footballer, if you're technical, if you know how to play, sometimes you can find it more difficult the lower you go. Did you find that like playing in MPL 2, people would have thought, oh, you know, walk in the park compared to the A-League. But looking back on matches you've played in the A-League, matches you've played in the MPL, did you have harder ones at a lower level? It all depends. Like, obviously, when you get up in like in the A-League, obviously, every everyone's, like, quite smart with yeah. how they go about things. Yeah. Obviously, you're versing players that have played overseas and stuff. So, like, obviously, they're much smarter on, like, in their decisions and stuff like that right. just because of their experience. Yeah. But, obviously, they're playing in MPL as well. They've 
been some tough, tough games yeah. where like you're getting battered, you know what yeah. I mean? And like things aren't going your way and like, especially like not having VR. Yeah. In the, in the <laughs> See, for us defenders, we love not having yeah, VR. We love yeah, it. For I've you, that would be I've terrible. copped a few like big hits when I was playing in the MPL and they just got away with it. Yeah. Like, that's, that's, the, that's the positive. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm gotta go to, I'm gonna go to work. I'm gonna go build a house tomorrow. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm about to, you're breaking my leg. <laughs> <laughs> Far out. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, let's hope they don't introduce VR anytime soon in the NPO. We'll be done. Oh, that's the no day we retire. way, bro. That's they ain't the got the money for that. <laughs> no, exactly right. Come you on. were saying it costs like six figures a game. Was that yeah, you saying yeah. that? Or was yeah. that Yazzie? No, it was you saying that. Might have been Yazzie. No, it was Yazzie. Yazzie was saying it costs them like six figures a game to play, to run VAR. Yeah. Six figures, bro. It's fucking mental. I don't know about that. I know where he's pulling that from. Um, the quick word on the A-League, though, we got some questions in. Nick O'Connor, if victory beat Adelaide this weekend, do you think they can make the finals? Same from Newey Jets football. Can victory challenge for the top six? They've turned it around. They were the worst team in the league for a long time. I thought they were still done. No, nah, bro. They're up to third bottom now. And the gap is so small. Because nah. obviously the top six are half the league yeah, makes finals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you've got Western United, who won the league last year. And they're... And now bottom of the league. Uh, the league's actually really tight this year. Yeah. Like points wise, like we're we'll coming eighth at the moment, but yeah. we're only three points outside the top six. Right. So, so like it's like all like one win and one of their those teams slip up, we yeah. move in the top six. So yeah. like it's so close this year, and it makes it. I, I think as a fan as well, makes it more like enjoyable to watch because you're like, Jesus, it's not like sometimes when you watch like the EPL and stuff like. Yeah. And it's got over. teams at the top and it's just over. Like yeah. They've won the first six games and they're just plotting along now. It's like yeah, everyone's you like, can't oh, afford okay. to lose like we, two games in a row. Yeah, nah. we talk a lot about it because obviously Olan comes from British football where it's first past the post. And then you've got a cup for another reason, mm. but there's no finals football. So he he, he still finds the, yeah, the concept find, of finals yeah, weird, it still, right? It still baffles me, but I'm getting my head around it. Right, but <laughs> yeah. is this an example where you like having finals? Because even if your season's been not the best, you're sitting in eighth position, you, you still have something to play for. You can still yeah. lift the toilet seat at the end. I, I think... <laughs> I think, um, yeah, I, I agree with that. Obviously, like, you look at England as well. Yeah. Like, obviously, first past the post, who's the most consistent? Mm. But also having the finals, it makes it interesting. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like, whoever rocks up on the on the day, you know what I mean? You could go end up going to extra time, penalties and stuff. And that's what yeah. people enjoy watching as well. Yeah. Them, them, them games where it's like, this is the, like, big, big scenario here yeah. where anything can happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? And going into a game like that, it's like, as a player, you love that stuff. You get like a lot of adrenaline, yeah. things like that. And I guess that's why we have cup football as well. It gives yeah. us another taste love, of that outside the league. We, we do love, love cup our cup football. football. I was played in the FA Cup allegedly, apparently. I have. I was actually looking. I don't know what stats you <laughs> looked up. Like, you know when he's like, oh, I looked up your stats. I was like, hold on a second. So I went can, back and done my research. I saw the stats there you in the FA Cup. You find proof that you played in the I FA Cup. I will we'll put it in there next time, Shepard. Okay, yeah, you've yeah. got proof. proof. That I was in the FA Cup. <laughs> okay. There's a... Uh, when I was sending it against... Um, I don't know, but it was National League. <laughs> National League. And uh, it says Daniel Lanaran, the uh, FA Youth Cup. Not Youth Cup, sorry, what am I saying? Hey, youth Cup. Cup. No, no, Youth <laughs> Cup. The real thing. Not Youth Cup. It was Cup. a real deal. Okay, we'll take you on. It was on FIFA, I think. Yeah. <laughs> then he, he turned his PlayStation off. Um, <laughs> but that was a massive win for you guys, like, to get the first... You're going to be part of that squad that won the first ever trophy for a club. Mm. You'll go down in history forever. How was that as a final? It was a weird one, playing against an NPL side, I'm yeah, sure. But we were there. Yeah, that's right. Winning that, lifting that, Celebrations after what? Well, tell me what it was like. Yeah, it was good. Obviously, and winning any bit of silverware is yeah. like it's cracker. Yeah. Um. Obviously, all the boys were pumped by it, and I think the biggest fuel was obviously with like Uli, um, yeah. and his wife Lily. Mm. Um. Obviously, that fueled a lot, put more uh, fuel on the fire for yeah. us to just to go with it. Yeah. Um. Obviously, it was more. It wasn't just based around winning. It was based around winning for her as well. So yeah. like we had that in our head mm. where there was things that mattered more to us yeah. in winning this. So I think yeah. for us, like, it was it was a good, it was a great experience, obviously, playing in front of the crowd and stuff like that and just being able to, like, be a part of a squad to win the first bit of silverware for the club is just, like, obviously that, will, for me, will go down in the history books for myself, but also for the club as well. Yeah, forever. And you mentioned about early, we, we saw the, the doco, obviously the A-League's docos that they're doing week to week. We saw that one come out. Uh, really inspirational. You can't you can't not get emotional when you watch that. Mm. Um, we, we know that story, but what about th these docos that they're doing now, filming inside the change room and and filming you guys? Is that is that a bit of a different experience to get used to? Like, how 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 invasive is it? Like the cameras in at training and in at the game. Oh, I think you don't really like you don't notice you don't it? notice it that much. Okay. Like. Oh, you'll be careful what you're saying and what you're doing. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. well, I was a bit worried because in the doc, I don't know, luckily they cut it out, but they, 
<laughs> as I first walked in, I'm just roasting Azadi. <laughs> and then he's absolutely roasting me about something. I think it was about my haircut again, like he always does. <laughs> he was just smashing me. I think yeah. I just said F off something yeah. like that. And as I walked in, I turned around, I was like, oh, puppy, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> it was just like the worst timing ever. But yeah, they, obviously, they, 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 obviously they cut it yeah. and stuff like that. But yeah. these these all accesses are good. Like yeah, shows a bit of insight. It's a, good, a huge thing for the A-League to have that because it gives us what we crave most of uh, as A-League fans is like the inside interaction into just seeing how the players are. Yeah. I feel like in the A-League, we don't get to see personalities enough. We don't know who has... A personality who who you can actually connect with a bit mm. more, and 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 as a fan, you connect more. You know, you connect with the player as well as the club. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It makes you like the club even more. So I think it it can only be positive. Yeah, yeah, like I think a lot of fans judge players on how they are on the football field, but mm. then a lot of them don't know how players are off the field. Like there's things like some of the players are like off the field. You might think he's an absolute yeah. Like, I don't know, whatever you want to Fuck call it. You're allowed to say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, or you, you might, think, you might think he's that on the field, yeah. but he's actually a, like a really nice person off the field. Yeah. Like, and it's just those type of things fans don't see. And I think this year with these all access, it's been brilliant for the league because it's like even a lot of people from overseas are starting to watch yeah. it. You know what I mean? Like you saw with all these like uh, Chicharito shared it the other day on yeah. the story for him and stuff. Yeah. Like yeah. obviously that one was a very tough one. I couldn't watch it all mm. because like obviously I was quite close. I'm mm. close with Uli and, yeah. and stuff like that. So, mm. like, for me, that was a real tough watch. But mm. the other ones have been... I've watched a couple of them and they've been yeah. good. Like, it's yeah. just, as you said, shows an insight to the league and what we are like as people. Like, we are normal. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're not just... And you guys you guys want to show that? Like, the players... That's why we want to get players on here because as players, yeah, I know you're a footballer and you, you want fans to see you as a footballer, but do you guys enjoy showing, like, the rest of you? Like, do you like talking yeah, about like, your DJing and about all the other things you like to yeah, do? Yeah, like, I do enjoy talking about it. Um, Obviously, like, some people probably think I'm that person on the field, but yeah. I, obviously on off the field, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit different to yeah. what I am on the field. So, like, it is good. I enjoy doing that because, as, as I said, people can understand me as a person more. Yeah. Exactly right. Well, unfortunately for your MacArthur Bulls, despite them still in with a chance for the finals, they did cop a loss. Newcastle Jets storming up the table, doing very, very well. Wellington also defeated Western United, breaking that fortress that they have down there in Tassie. But a big result for your Wanderers, Holland. 4-4 four, four, four. draw. The first ever 4-4 four, four draw in A-League history. Is it actually? Can you believe that? I, I thought that yeah, was that's, crazy. That's we've crazy. had five four. We've had oh, uh, we've had more goals, yeah, yeah, but yeah. haven't had a four four draw. That's according to producer Shabs' stats. So yeah, if, yeah. if anyone if anyone finds that wrong, it's not me. It's <laughs> producer Shabs. Um, four four, but a, a great superb debut goal there from Omar Leuni that you were talking about as yeah, well. Yeah, I was talking about it earlier. I think it was it was it was tough at some um, points because people want to say like obviously the defending wasn't as good as you'd you'd, you'd have liked it to be. You know, you cop four goals. It's never really a, kind of a good thing, but it was good to see. On the other end, which we have struggled with, which mm. is to score goals, yeah, it's good to see that there's 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 people that are confident in front of goal, and as a debut to come in and score a goal like he did, you know, like fans, in fact, and I think that's how you win, um, Wanderers fans over because they're hard, they're hard to win over, they're hard to win over, yeah, they are hard to win over, man. Even me, I get bottles thrown at me at games and stuff, <laughs> so. And I've been here one what or two. What are they going against you? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Was this, was this in the F- FA Cup match? Uh, oh. It was the no. It was the. Um, <laughs> When was it? It was the the derby. What were you was, doing there? No, no, no. But I was I was in front of the RBB. Right. So it's like maybe ninety percent of them like me, and then there's one guy who's like, "Who the fuck is this guy?" <laughs> That's <laughs> like in front of the because I was like in front of the fan section. Right. You know what I mean? right, right. So, it's the RBB at the end of the day. So yeah, you got to take the good with the bad. Yeah, take the good. With but it seems <laughs> like they're coming back. It's good. Yeah. The support's been pretty good yeah. there. Well, the Wanderers nothing better. Four four draw. Rudin will be pulling his hair out if if I know him. He he does not like conceding goals, so mm-hmm. he, he'll have a lot of problems with that. But it was an entertaining one for the fans. Uh, before we go to our fan questions that have dropped in, I want to ask you about All Star Squad because there's a, there's a rumor going around. There's another big club coming. Oh, uh, yeah. Who? Do we know? Who? I, don't know who. Who? I don't know who. I don't know who, but I've heard because they've said you know part of the, we don't want to talk too much about this, but part of the whole moving the finals to Sydney and that was that they're going to have a, a oh. finals week Ooh. where the, you have the women's final, you have the men's final, you also have this all star game. Mm. I like the all star game. And well, I was just yeah, at, I went to that last year to watch yeah, maps that play. Was that was so, sick. yeah, and it was great. We had so. maps on the pod not long before that. He yeah. really wanted that. Well, call he up. well we had him on the pod, and then we were like, go vote for him to get in the team. Yeah, yeah. He got in the team. So you think it was? Because <laughs> of us. I think we influenced it. I think it was because of us. <laughs> going to say that uh, if you had one opportunity Rosie you know you get back your feet you're playing well you're selected an all-star team be it this season be it in the future who's one team or player in world football that you'd love to have that opportunity to play against I think 
I'd want to play against Liverpool. I just think because right. obviously growing up as a Liverpool fan, I yeah. was my idol growing up was Craig Johnson. I don't know if you remember. Right, yeah, 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 yeah of the course. Long blonde mm. surfer dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's a legend, actually. I had dinner with him last year, and it was real eye opener for me. Awesome. Um, but I think that would be the club I want to play against. I yeah. think just supporting oh, Liverpool came to Sydney, that would just be off. People would just lose their shit. Yeah, they've come to Australia twice. Have they? How uh, long ago? But they, they packed out the MCG. This is before you got here. Oh. I did watch them when they actually came yeah, here. Yeah. Did you get down to Melbourne? No, I went to the Sydney. The one game. here after. Yeah. Because yeah. they were that. Because there's, there's such a huge. I think I can't remember what someone said it, but it's like the fan base in. Yeah. The Liverpool fan base in Sydney yeah. or Melbourne. In Australia, it's, it's massive. Because Craig Johnston yeah. played there and then obviously Harry Kuehl mm. played Champions League final, FA Cup final with him. A lot of goalkeepers play there. It just mm. feels like Aussies have ended up at yeah. Liverpool. Yeah. But I feel like there's a lot of West Ham supporters as well in Australia. Yeah? I feel like there's a big West Ham group. I don't know why, but I've like Lucas heard Neal? about it. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those teams. Lucas Neal was around. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they do influence. It's like Leeds. Like a lot of you'll find Aussies that go for Leeds because we had so many Aussies playing yeah. there. But there you go. We'd love to see it. Lockie mm. Rose playing for the All Stars against Liverpool. Speaking into <laughs> existence, you never know. Uh, we've got some questions that dropped in for you. Uh, who's this? Cyan? Is this Cyan? You like the color? Like a light blue? Is that how I pronounce his <laughs> name? Cyan? Cat? Well, you put an I before the A. I <laughs> That's how you spell Kane. C I A N. I don't believe you. Wait, what? Wow. I don't believe you. <laughs> I think producer Sheb's been smoking that stuff again. But anyway, <laughs> Kane on Twitter wants to know how you keep your hair in tip-top condition. <laughs> yeah, what do you use on it? Give Salt us the products. Water. No. Salt water. Salt <laughs> water. <laughs> you. Oh, no, no. I, um, obviously, you got you got to wash it here and there, but i got to get a haircut soon. Is the key to not wash it? <laughs> nah, no, you don't. No? No, no, man. Not no, no. Keep it, does, does that keep it like, no? Like, yeah. dread, you end up with dreads. Yeah, yeah. no, you end up with dreadies. If I don't brush it enough, um, okay. yeah, it can end up in a few dreadies. But yeah, yeah no, I've got to obviously wash it and stuff like that. I'd be hot in that. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to, man. I get frustrated with my hair. But uh, but I rate it, bro. It's, 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 it's iconic now. There you go, Kane, apparently. I think it's Cyan, but Kane. Scott Borg on Twitter as well. Twitter's popping off. Uh, Lockie's thoughts on the growth and changes at Bulls, where he sees the club in five to ten years. I know he's a big Bulls fan, actually, Scotty Borg. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, it's, it's going in the right direction. Um, obviously, like, that's why I wouldn't have signed for another two years if I didn't think that. Yeah. Um, and the club has shown a lot of faith in me. And so, like, Obviously, I show faith back. Yeah. In that sense, so yeah. I, I think there's we've got a there's a like the foundation stuff's good. It's just mm. building on that, and obviously, yeah, we're still young, but I feel like we can make a real big impact in the league yeah. still, um, and just going further forward. So they, everything's right, like the ideas are right, and putting them into place. So, mm. as I said, the next five years are quite important for us, and I do see some real keep like positivity coming out of it. Surely, um, an A League championship has got to be the aim. I think, yeah, that is the biggest aim. Yeah. Obviously, we got the FA Cup. Obviously, we want to win that again. But yeah. obviously, winning an A-League um, a Championship is another big stepping stone. But also, we've got AFC Cup as well. Yeah, um, that's it. Ooh, that's going into this yeah. next year. So, yeah. that's a big one as well. If yeah. We try to put our best foot forward for that one. And we, so. I agree with that because not I, one thing I hate about Australian they clubs... Don't they don't Pickers. rate the continental football high yeah, enough. I feel like, be. which I don't know if that's a financial decision, mm. but for me, AFC Cup, AFC Champions League, like, this needs to be the pinnacle. Because mm. in it Europe, should, obviously, the Champions League, man, that's yeah, anytime you're League's facing big. a Every foreign day. opponent, yeah, you know, I think it's a good, t it's a good way to test yourself and see how where where the league is or whatever. Mm. You know, so. And I know it's Wednesday night sometimes, but Aussie yeah. fans need to get around that continental football more because mm. then you can go years without seeing your club playing in Asia. Like, mm. it should be a massive deal. It is for a lot of the other countries. Um, it, look, touchy, touchy one, but this is why it's born offside. Ash has asked th honest thoughts on the finals being moved to New South Wales. Did players talk much about that? Not really. Like, I've... Obviously, I'll personally... It's a tough... It's like a tough decision. Obviously, yeah. it's up to what the league feels is right. Yeah. Um, Obviously, I understand where all the Melbourne fans are coming from. Yeah. Um, and like Adelaide and Perth yeah. and like yeah. obviously Wellington and even the Queensland teams. Yeah. I think personally, it's 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 a bit hard at the moment because obviously the fans are everyone that you need to please. The fans you need to keep them happy. Yeah. Because the, the fans, supporting you. The fans are the ones that support you. They're 100%. the ones that keep the game going. 100%. So like, obviously, yeah, it is a bit of a touchy subject. It's it's hard to like to judge on it, but mm. I do feel like. Yeah, there's there's pros and cons about it. Mm. Um, you have many people say much to you because obviously. Yeah, you know, I you think it was the it was we we spoke about it before. I think it's just the way in which they went yeah, about it. I don't think ever I don't think anyone was 
super super mad at the decision itself. Yeah, it was just to explain, justify it. Just the, yeah, tell justify, us why. Tell us why. Happened. Give yeah. us explain. It was exactly it right. was the fact that it was off the back of a World Cup and yeah. how well everyone was buzzing about um, soccer is at the World Cup. It was off the back of that. It was kind of like they used that to springboard this new idea. And yeah, be like this is what we're doing now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. instead of. Instead of in making the fans feel inclusive, at the end of the day, without the fans, it's nothing. there's nothing. Same it's as okay. the NRL. So without the fans, you can yeah. say whatever, there's nothing. It's what you so. need, yeah. It's, it's what you need for everything, definitely. Last one for you. Amustika has asked, your favourite away stadium to play at in the A-League? Surely Combank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, uh, Gosford looks nice to play at. Gosford no? is nice. Um, I per personally... There's one I don't really enjoy playing Amy Park for some reason. Like I, okay. I like I'll enjoy the stadium stuff, but they water the field so much. Really, oh, it is like it is slippery. It's a slippy slide. <laughs> I, it is job. slippery. You know what I <laughs> mean? Like you need um, some medals. You need some metal studs for that yeah. trip to Amy Park. Yeah, I I didn't mind playing in per. Is it the is it HCR, HP? Yeah, the one last year. Yeah, but they've moved to Macedonia. Obviously, they moved yeah. now. That was a nice field to play. Was, obviously, the surface is really good. Yeah. I don't know. It's hard. I, I'm not too sure. Do you have like a, any any lucky pitches? Like any you've had better success at certain stadiums or? Oh, I think I'm gonna go off uh, playing in Wellington this year. Yeah. Gordon, like I think it was like six seconds off the bench. Yes. And one seconds off the bench. Yeah. So I think I think for me that's a that's a good field to play at. Yeah. I, I do enjoy playing against Wellington. Yeah. Um, I've had a lot of success against them, but yeah, I think. That was actually a nice trip as w away as well. Obviously, the travel's hard, but yeah. it is nice when you get there because I've never been to New Zealand before. But yeah. it's hard to decide. Like, well, it just all depends. Yeah, exactly. It depends how good you play. Then you love yeah. the stadium. You play bad, you hate the stadium. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we, we saw Pep Guardiola complain in the Premier League about a trip from Manchester to London. Yeah, Klopp does it sometimes. Yeah, as well, and they yeah. complain about the travel. As an Aussie footballer, you're flying uh, everywhere. The every worst week is you go to Perth. And I remember the first year, like when COVID was like going off and. W about to shut the borders mm. and after the game we get told yeah boys were hopping on the red eye flight back oh. Man, I was rattled from that right. all the boys were rattled we got home and we're just like so you like miss a whole night right you miss yeah, a whole night like you just get home and it's like it's like 4am in the morning or 3am yeah. in the morning something yeah. ridiculous oh, and you're just absolutely buggered you get home and just like but you fly you fly the night before every game for the away games like yeah. you get a night there to relax oh we, yeah stuff, we right? get in around like the afternoon okay yeah. and then we normally yeah, stay that night, play the next day. Yeah, Obviously, go on your team on walk in the morning, chill yeah, out with the boys, yeah, yeah. and then you fly out the next day yeah. after. Oh, so you get two nights there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's two nice. nights. So you get your first night to be wholesome, your second yeah. night to hit the town if you win. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's what I'll be doing. Yeah, anyway. true. That's, that's good to <laughs> and if you don't win, you still hit the town. Yeah, well, I mean, the game's done. You can't <laughs> yeah. change the result. Exactly. That's what I'm always saying. You exactly. can't change the result. Exactly. Uh, last thing before we let you go, producer Shabs reckons look alike. Casper Dolberg. What do we think? Who did you play for? A Danish striker. Is that Hoffenheim? I heard, I heard, the, I heard a lot you of heard that, that one in before? the world, when the boys were playing the World Cup. Yeah, we played yeah, them. for sure. Some, you see some that? Guy, a I, someone sent me it. Yeah, I saw that. Some guy sent me it and was like, um, this is just a, a shit Lockie Rose or something. <laughs> like, oh my God. Well, this guy's playing the World Cup, mate. What do you <laughs> 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 But can he <laughs> DJ? Can he DJ <laughs> after playing 90 minutes? That's uh, the big uh, question. No, that's quality. R Rosie, mate, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on. Last one I want to throw you away. I know you're going through the recovery, but you've had a great start to your life as a pro footballer and there's a long career ahead of you. In 12 months' time, what does Lockie Rose want to have achieved? Obviously, I want to push to go overseas. Yeah. And then I want to, like, people might laugh at it, but it's what I think. I really want to make a World Cup squad. I really want to represent my country. 100%. So I think coming as my personality and how I was growing up, like that true blue Aussie kid, yeah. mm. I really want to represent my country because, like... I'm, wouldn't be more proud of. So I think for me that's that's a like a long term goal as well. Yeah. Um but yeah, next twelve months I just want to work my ass off and yeah. and become that and then be establish myself as a top top player. And I yeah. think like obviously I have the ability for it. It's just my work ethic. Because at the end of the day, being a professional athlete, it's eighty percent mental, twenty percent your talent. Yeah. And if you're mentally tough, especially like injuries and stuff, if yeah. you stay mentally tough, that's half the battle. If you've yeah. got that then you're flying. Yeah, you exactly know what I mean? Right, it's yeah. all like well, you've denied the odds so far, so who's exactly to say you can't right. keep doing that, bro? Yeah, yeah, right. Someone that, would have laughed at you. Uh, Blacktown Spartan, someone would have laughed at you if you said you want to play A-League. Yeah. So if someone's laughing at you, soccer is, fuck you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Get in that soccer yeah. squad, yeah, go to yeah. a World that, Cup. That's be the epic, biggest man. thing for me. I'd love to represent my country and put on that jersey because for me it would, oh, like, you can't, I can't even talk about it. Like, yeah. It just Amazing. means, it would mean so much to me, you know what I mean? Because obviously I love this country, I love just the whole the whole part of it and just yeah. be able to represent your country. Like, not many people can say that and that's my 
all time dream, I think. Awesome, man. Well, you awesome. got the support of the Born Offside pod, that's for, for sure. sure. We'll, we'll be sure. rooting for you to we'll come back watching. from injury. Do your thing, man. And Cheers wherever football that. takes you, man, we'll be backing you. So, anyone that's not following Lockie Rose, jump on him, man. Get get on him before he makes his return so you're not a bandwagoner. <laughs> and he'll be back out there for the Bulls, hopefully, stirring them into finals contention and potentially their first ever toilet seat and onto bigger and better things as well. Alan Techers, thanks for joining us as always. Any always. big plans for the week, bro? Uh, stay out, could you, pal? I'll, <laughs> I'll see you at 6 a.m. Yeah, tomorrow on, morning, mate. Been, that's it, you're swimming with Lockie, mate. We'll see what he says. Bring your goggles. Yeah, I will do. We'll I get will a photo do. of that. Goggles, Budgie right? smuggles yeah. and goggles. First. <laughs> get him some floaties just to be sure because I'm not sure that big fella can swim. I can't. Uh, <laughs> we'll go to the kiddie pool. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start, start small. Start small. Guys, for listening, thanks so much for joining us. Make sure you subscribe to the pod, follow us on all socials, and we'll see you next week when Cat returns. Catch ya. See ya.